Pastor Ruben Kigame, and I know majority of you know him, has attacked Dr. William Samuel Ruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya, so badly on various issues. First of all, Pastor Ruben Kigame is attacking Dr. William Ruto on his Christianity. The second thing, he is attacking Dr. William Ruto on the church issue. The third thing, he is attacking Dr. William Ruto's leadership. And at that point is that Pastor Ruben Kigame is questioning William Ruto's religion. And through his, through his Twitter account, which I want to go through, I just want to read for you, before, without wasting a lot of time, I just want to read for you what Pastor Ruben Kigame is talking about here. You know, ladies and gentlemen, just after Dr. William Ruto was sworn in as the President of the Republic of Kenya, he has already started encountering some few challenges. But in my personal view, I believe that it is too early. It is too early for us to believe that William Ruto can achieve all what he promised us through his manifesto in one day. William Ruto right now, as we speak, is on his third day in office. But we have already seen him making some few changes which are very, very important. What William Ruto is focusing on right now, as we speak, honestly speaking, William Ruto is trying so much to focus on long-term issues, long-term solutions, on fuel subsidy he removed or he brought to an end the fuel subsidy. And right now, as we speak, the prices of fuel are up simply because Dr. William Ruto wants want to focus on a permanent solution, on a full term or a, or a long term solution on, on the issues of fertilizers, on the issues of unga prices. You know, majority of Kenyans were believing that immediately Dr. William Ruto is sworn in as the president of the Republic of Kenya, the prices of unga will reduced to 70 yes it will reduce but it is too early but of course i really like the criticize the criticism because even william ruto made it public that that it is in his government it is allowed for you to speak for you to criticize his government i feel like even if it is too early this the people who are criticizing dr who have already criticized who have already started criticizing dr william ruto's government I feel like it is very, very important to criticize so that you can you can remind him the pressure, you put the amount of pressure to him so that at least he can uh, put some more effort also so that he can achieve all these things. You know, if you don't criticize if without the opposition side, therefore the government, like Uhuru's government, did a lot of wrong things simply because there was no opposition which will, would criticize him and which the opposition to oversee him and correct him on other sides. So I just want us to go through um, Ruben Kigame's suite. I've brought up this uh, this this issue of uh, what is going on right now because I've observed that Ruben Kigame's tweet is the main agenda of what is going on right now. Majority of Kenyans are really complaining about the fuel prices. So let us go through this tweet and I just want to show you uh, on the screen. But before that, if you're watching this video for the first time, please support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend my channel to reach out to other people. And to my subscribers, to my loyal viewers, I just want to take this opportunity also. Sorry guys, to thank you guys for your support. Actually, I'm not taking your support for granted. You can also please share if you can. Also, you can participate in this channel by um, commenting on the comment section below because politics is all about um, uh, engagement and I like engaging, engaging with my fans. I go through all the, 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 the comment section and that is how we will grow together. Thank you so much, guys. You can also press that notification bell so that each and every time I upload a video on this platform, YouTube will be able to recommend my channel to you or it will bring you the notification. Uh, we always upload two videos per day on this YouTube channel. Thank you so much as you support me. First of all, I want you to understand Ruben Kigame. Ruben Kigame is a pastor. Ruben Kigame wanted to become a presidential candidate, but he was uh, he did not qualify to become the president or to become the presidential candidate because the IEBC uh, chairperson of Fula Chipukati went through his uh, qualifications, but um, unluckily um, he was not lucky to to, to become the, the the president uh, candidate. So that is Ruben Kigame. So through his tweet. 
he's telling us that let me show you on the screen he has given us okay he has tweeted three threads on the first one he's saying that i know i will be bashed but i need to be truthful and accountable to the nation i think the ruto's administration is overdoing religion while we acknowledge the hand of god in bringing us this far presidency must be, must observe article 27 of the constitution the article 27 of the constitution ladies and gentlemen let me just uh, tell you notify you so that you can get to understand what he's talking about by article 27 the article 27 of constitution is talking about the equality and freedom from discrimination and it is saying that everybody according to that uh, constitutional uh, document is saying that everybody is equal before the law and has the right to equal protection and equal benefits of the law so that is the first tweet by ruben kigame on the second tweet let me show you on the screen i am committed christian who believes in prayers and believes god has helped us this far and will continue to trust him for the future of kenya but i hope this issue such the, that issue such as lowering food prices will not be met with the state house saying let's pray about it that is the second tweet and the third tweet ruben kigame is telling us that i strongly believe that the church should play a neutral direction prophetic balanced and truthful role in order to promote to, or to provide a true spiritual direction for the country for the country it should congratulate the king but also be prepared to tell the king that he is naked should he be the question there are some after after reading that tweet i ask myself a lot of questions and in my analysis today i want to agree on with that tweet on some areas i just want to agree with ruben kigame on some areas also i just want to disagree i want to strongly disagree with ruben kigame on some few areas also in that tweet first of all in that li that line where he's telling us that the church should should congratulate the king but also should be prepared to tell the king that he is naked should he be but my question is even before we go into the the, the critical analysis the question that i'm asking myself when uhuru Mwege kenyatta was doing wrong did you hear ruben kigame correcting uhuru Mwege kenyatta at any point did ruben kigame tell the president uhuru Mwege kenyatta that you are wrong on this side we never had him speak so i just want to disagree with ruben kigame on two main areas first of all i just want to disagree with ruben kigame when he says that over the the, the president or william ruto's government is overdoing religion how can you tell that this person is overdoing religion how is the religion measured and how why why are you measuring somebody's religion why should i come and tell you that don't overdo this religion who are you to complain if you have that if if the person who should complain about religion is none other than god god should be the one if he has a problem with you so in my personal view that one i, I want to disagree simply because you cannot measure religion it's so hard to measure religion and i think he should have told us more on why he's, tell, he's saying that William Ruto is overdoing the religion. I think he should not judge Dr. William Ruto. So that is the first point which I want to disagree. The second one, I want to disagree with Ruben Kigame that the state house, when he says that state house prayers will not solve food prices. The truth of the matter is that prayer is very, very important in my personal view. 
if you are a Christian, if you are a religious person, if you believe in God, prayer is the key. No matter what, even if, what is what is wrong if William Ruto says that let us pray for, 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 for the reduction of food prices? There's nothing wrong with that. You can pray for it so that uh, God can give you strength to handle that. God can give you wisdom to handle that. And God is also a provider. When, when the when when in the Bible, <laughs> let us go into the Bible now. The knowledge that I have in the Bible, God was able to provide manna to the Israelites through prayers. So I believe that I want to disagree with with that issue of uh, of Reuben Kigame. I want to agree with Reuben Kigame on various issues. I want to agree with Ruben Kigame when he criticizes the government. It is very, very important. But the wrong way is the way he puts it. That is the wrong direction. But I believe that if we criticize the government of Dr. William Ruto, it is very, very normal. There's nothing wrong with that. I also want to agree with Ruben Kigame about that quote of the Constitution, Article 27, which talks about the equality and freedom without discrimination, that everybody is equal before the law and has the right to equal protection and equal benefits of the law. I want to, to agree with Ruben Kigame. I also want to agree with Ruben Kigame that the church should play neutral or the church should uh, congratulate or should the church should play a neutral direction, prophetic, balanced and truthful role in order to provide a true spiritual direction for the country. And I also want to agree with Ruben Kigame that the church should congratulate the king, but also be prepared to tell the king that he is naked should he be. That was it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much and see you tomorrow. Have a good night, guys, or have a good evening. Have a good afternoon. Thank you so much.